passive income is a great way to make a little bit additional money without necessarily exchanging a whole lot of time for a wage. So in this video, I'm going to go over some passive income ideas that I myself are probably going to do or are doing in 2018 and that you can also do. Now, what passive income is versus, I guess, just a regular income? A regular income is, let's say you work a day job, nine to five, you exchange time for money, and maybe you're like creating a product or doing some sort of service that you're giving out for them. But either way, you're spending a great deal of time, probably anywhere from, you know, if you're working full time, 40 plus hours a week, and if you're working part time, maybe, you know, 10 to 40 hours a week. But either way, your general line of income, you're exchanging some sort of time for money. But with passive income, I have a lot of passive income streams myself. I make around anywhere from $500 to $700 a month off of them right now. And this has actually been increasing a bit um, in 2018, if you look back at some of my videos in 2017, I really wasn't making a whole lot. I was only making a couple hundred dollars, but now I'm making above 500, which is great and is actually one of my goals that I hit for passive income. But anyways, with passive income, you might like put initial money in, you might have your money work for you, or you might create some sort of product or service that continues to generate you money without you actually doing a whole lot of work or working 40 hours a week. Um, if you add up a couple passive income streams, they might add up to a little bit more time you're working them per week or per month or whatever it might be. But in general, you, if it's passive income, you're not going to be working 40 hours a week on these income streams. So the first passive income stream that I do myself and that you consider consider doing is dividend investing or just honestly investing in general. Now with dividend investing, what it is, you buy either a stock or an ETF and either four times a year or monthly, um, this company gives you a specific cash amount for owning their share um, during certain periods of time. In order to get a dividend, you would have to buy the stock before its ex-dividend date, and then they would pay you out on whatever date the company says. You can look this stuff up if you want. I've posted videos in the past on my channel about good dividend stocks or really how dividend... I think I've actually posted some how dividends work in general, so you can go ahead and check those out. I'm not going to get into too much of the specifics of it, but basically if you buy a share of a company, they give you a specific amount of money so many times per year. And dividend investing could be a great way to really get a good passive income stream going, especially if you put a lot of money into it because this money is just sitting there. You're not doing anything active with it. You're literally not doing anything at all besides purchasing the stocks. And this company is just giving you money for holding your shares. But um, some problems that with dividend investing is that it can cost a lot of money. Well, not necessarily cost a lot of money, but you might have to put a lot of money into your portfolio to get some significant returns. And another thing is that it's sometimes a little bit difficult to pick out the right dividend stock because some companies might cancel their dividends, might reduce their dividends. But in general, if you shoot for um, large companies, blue chip stocks, dividend aristocrats, you should be okay. Um, one thing to note too, if you had $100,000 invested, which is a pretty significant amount invested for most people, and you're getting, let's say, a 3% dividend yield per year on average, there'd only be $3,000 a year, so that obviously wouldn't be a whole lot, especially if you're dividing that up into months or weeks, you'd only be getting a couple hundred dollars per week. So that's one thing to take into consideration with dividend investing. You do need a pretty significant amount of money to start doing this. But the next passive income stream that you could consider doing in 2018 is um, social media, getting more into social media. And what I mean by this is that there's a whole lot of people out there that I know, and I really want to start getting into this more and making my social media accounts more um, well-known and have more followers and more interactions and be a little bit more active on social media accounts. You know, my Twitter, my Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, you know, all the ones I'm on pretty much daily, but I don't post enough on. Um, there's a lot of people out there that have a significant amount of followers on either Twitter or Instagram or, you know, those are really the main two, Facebook. And they actually are able to generate some income from that, whether it be um, putting sponsored posts up, creating advertisements for other companies. There's a whole lot of different ways to do that. Um, one website that I am actually going to start using is called FameBit. And basically, if you have over 5,000 subscribers on your YouTube channel, I guess YouTube's another social media platform, but if you have 5,000 subscribers, 5,000 followers on either I believe it does Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Um, you can then start searching for sponsors. 
there's a lot of good resources out there to search for sponsors and that is probably one of the best ways to create a little bit of income from your social media pages and honestly all these other social or excuse me passive income streams that i'm going to talk about um it would probably help to have a pretty solid social media following whether it be on youtube instagram snapchat facebook whatever it might be um the next one now, the next passive income stream that you can consider for 2018 is blogging. Um, I've actually done a blog in the past, and I actually was making a very, very small amount of money off it, but then I stopped doing it because I just wasn't having fun with it, and it wasn't I wasn't really talking about or writing about what I wanted to write about. Um, it was just with a couple of friends in college, but blogging can be a relatively easy and pretty quick way to generate a little bit of passive income just by simply typing up a couple articles a day. Um, what I did in the past was basically a couple of my friends got together and we were like, hey, let's start writing blog posts and then start putting Google ads on the side of these blog posts and maybe try to get a little bit of money. But honestly, me and my friends were just super lazy and stopped doing it, even though it really wasn't a whole lot of work that we were putting in and didn't follow through with it. But nonetheless, it still is a pretty good way that if you're interested in pretty much anything, uh, we were just talking about news in general. It wasn't too much specific. I think um, my one friend talked about like video games. My other friend talked about world news. Um, one friend talked about sports. So we were talking about anything. But if you're interested in pretty much anything, whether it be sports, video games, books, uh, iPhones, I don't know, technology, anything, cameras, you can go ahead and blog about that. And if you're good enough at it, people are probably going to read it. And you could obviously share these on your social media pages if you have a decent amount of followers, and that will also help as well. Um, another thing, if you're not very good at writing or don't like to write, you can get into vlogging or YouTubing in general. And there's other platforms that you can do this on now, like Twitch if you're a gamer. Um, even Facebook is coming out with a new video streaming service that I don't believe is open for like public users yet, but some people are able to get to it. I think it's really just the bigger companies. But if you're not into writing and you really want to create more video content, more visual context, and you're not bad in front of the camera, you definitely can consider vlogging or just YouTubing in general. Um, I would love to like show a little pop-up of how much I make a month on YouTube, but I guess I've heard from some pretty decent sources that you're actually not allowed to, and I would most definitely consider YouTube a passive income stream because it takes me about 10-20 minutes to make a video every day. Um, sometimes it takes me a little bit longer to edit them depending on what the videos are, but then uploading only takes a couple of minutes, and posting it and like doing all the thumbnails and stuff like that doesn't take very long. It only takes maybe an hour or two a day, but this passive income stream is my most by far, so that's why I'm fine with spending a little bit more of time and effort on it. But I'm definitely not working 40 hours a week or anything like that on my YouTube channel. But um, right now, I'm going to get like a ballpark estimate of how much I'm making right now. It's right around, right below $500 total that I'm making from YouTube ads. Now, with that, um, there's other passive income streams I can play off that that I do that I'm going to talk about in a second. But overall, YouTube right now is my biggest passive income stream. And honestly, all I do is just pretty much sit in front of the camera and talk to you guys and post decent content. I don't think my content's amazing or anything like that. Um, when I started off, it was definitely a whole lot worse than it is now. And I seem to have a decent following. I'm almost up to 4,000 subscribers right now. So YouTube is definitely a pretty decent passive income stream. Really, all you have to do is sit in front of a camera. I have a decent camera now that I was able to buy once I started making some money off of it. But I started off using my iPhone, which was super basic and really crappy quality, honestly. I didn't even use a microphone. Then I slowly started upgrading some of my equipment so that I could post better content. I now have a decent microphone, some lighting, a good camera, a tripod, you know, everything I need right now to really post decent content. So starting off... All you got to do is get in front of a camera and talk about what you like to talk about. I like to talk, talk about investing in the stock market and money, but that's just me. I'm probably going to create more channels in the future. I've been, I've already have a personal channel out right now that I'm really not posting too much on, but I probably will in the future. But anyways, YouTube could be a really great passive income stream, and I would say that it's relatively easy and cheap to start if you have really all you need is a phone, and that's really the same with any of these other ones. But Anyways, um, the next passive income stream for 2018 is affiliate marketing.
Now, what affiliate marketing is, is basically um, it's an online thing. You need to have access to the internet to do this, and you need to be posting links somewhere. But the one I do it with is Amazon, but you can do it with a lot of big companies like Walmart, Target, Best Buy, um, really any company out there has them. But um, basically what you do is you set up an account with them, and every time someone posts, or excuse me, um, every time you um, want to like market a certain product or want to... Um, I almost not sponsored, but anytime you want to like look up a product, and you're like, oh, this product's kind of cool. You find a link for that off the website's affiliate page, and then you post that link somewhere. And pretty much every time someone clicks that link and like buys a product within 24 to like 48 hours, depending on what affiliate program you're doing, you get a very very small commission for that. So, for example, at the bottom of my YouTube pages. Or excuse me, in the bottom of my YouTube descriptions. As you can see, I have a whole bunch of affiliate links about different things. Um, some are my favorite books on investing, my favorite books on business, um, my equipment that I use, and basically every time you click that link and go to Amazon, and if you end up buying that product, or even I believe another product on the website, um, you I get a very small commission. It's usually anywhere from eight to like one percent, so it's like very very small. Um, obviously, if you're buying a two thousand dollar laptop or something like that, I'd get a much bigger commission. But in general, it is a very very small commission. Now, if my channel was more product oriented, like if I was doing an unboxing channel or a like product review channel or something like that, then I'd probably make a whole lot more of affiliates, or even just in general, if my channel was bigger. But um, right now, my channel really has nothing to do with products or going out and buying products, which is totally fine. I'm not focusing this channel on affiliate marketing or anything like that, so I don't make a whole lot. But in the future, I probably will, or actually I am starting to think up some ideas and probably going to create other YouTube channels and other social media platforms that more go into reviewing products and promoting products and stuff like that so that I will be able to get a little bit better of affiliate income. But Anyways, those are the different passive income streams. The first one was investing. The second one was social media. Next was blogging. Next was YouTube slash vlogging. And the last one was affiliate marketing. And just to note, all of these besides really investing, I think require some sort of social media presence, whether it be on YouTube, Snapchat, um, Instagram, and Twitter. Now, that doesn't just have to be your personal account, because I have personal accounts on all of these platforms, but you can also create an account oriented to what you like or what you're interested in doing. Like, for example, if I myself should do this and I really haven't been on it as hard as I should be, I'm very into obviously investing in the stock market. I should definitely make a Twitter account and or probably an Instagram account that is focused on posting, investing, and financial advice and well not financial advice but investing posts financial posts and things like that to try to get a bigger audience on those platforms to then direct them to my youtube channel and then people on my youtube channel direct them to those accounts and that and then i could continue to generate more income off of those and just really get more followers off of those but unfortunately i haven't done that yet hopefully i will get better at that and more into that in 2018 but anyways guys that's it for this video i don't want to make it too long if you enjoyed the video leave a like and if you're interested in what i like to talk about which is investing and the stock market definitely head over to my channel investing potentials and consider subscribing but other than that guys i hope you enjoyed the video